live from the news station, Fox 35 News at 5 starts now. Breaking news, a man barging into Walgreens, waving a rifle and demanding drugs. First thing we saw was the employees with their hands in the air. Cops say he charges the pharmacy and bounds over the counter. Not today, Lord. Get them to safety, Jesus. Make him put his gun down. Officers forced to shoot as a store full of customers runs for their lives. And by the grace of God, not one innocent employee, one innocent patron, or one police officer was injured today. The news station with live team coverage of the dramatic drugstore takedown. And we just got our hands on this picture. Daytona Beach police showing us the actual gun the suspect was waving around inside that Walgreens. Cops shooting the suspect in the back. He's now in the hospital. We have live team coverage tonight. Daniel Lama talking to witnesses inside the store. But we start with Robert Guadarrama with what went down. Robert. This was the Walgreens. The man entered at about 1 o'clock this afternoon. 10 people inside and 10 people today counting their blessings. Now, take another look at the rifle used in this robbery. Imagine the fear of the staff staring down the barrel of this weapon. Chaos erupting inside this Daytona Beach Walgreens when a man rushed through the doors armed with a rifle heading for the pharmacy. Witnesses tell police the man jumped the counter demanding money and drugs. Upon arrival, we responded directly to the pharmacy where we located a male armed with a rifle. When police corner the suspect, they say he was getting his fix mid robbery. He was crouched down. He appeared to be shooting up some type of a narcotic. That's when officers demanded to see the man's hands. He pops up with the rifle and he runs into the direction of uh, innocent employees, at which time one of my officers fires at him. The suspect, identified as 41 year old Lewis Curler, was struck once in the back. He is now in custody, taken to the hospital for treatment. Daytona Beach Police Deputy Chief Jakari Young saying today could have ended much worse. By the grace of God, not one innocent employee, one innocent patron, or one police officer was injured today. The suspect did not fire any shots, but police confirm he was armed with two fully loaded magazines. Live in Daytona Beach, I'm Robert Guadarrama, Fox 35 News. Employees and customers running for their lives. Danielle Lama live now with that part of the story tonight. Danielle. Well, Stephen and Luann, have you, as you've heard police say, they are very thankful that no innocent people were hurt. We talked to one witness who described what it was like when that man walked through the door with a rifle. All we heard, I don't know if it was staff, I don't know if it was a customer that screamed gun. And that's all I need to hear. Marta Quinones says her instincts kicked in. She needed to get out of the store fast and take everyone she could find with her. It was about 10 of us. And then an elderly lady dropped her cane. And of course, you know how nervous is that going? I held her hand and said, Vente, mamita, hold her hand and walk. Walk her to Wawa. She said, My cane fell. I said, Walgreens will buy you 100. Go. And we all came over here. People inside Walgreens running to the gas station next door. Quinone says they prayed for the people who were still inside. Police say when they went into the store, the employees did everything right, putting their hands up so officers could zero in on the suspect. And I prayed it tonight. Anybody who had to go through it, including myself, that we could continue just giving thanks because that's all we can do is to give thanks. And family members who have people that work inside the Walgreens showing up to the scene also very thankful tonight. Meantime, as you can see, the scene has been cleared, but there is a sign on the Walgreens store saying that the store is still closed. We're live in Daytona Beach, Daniel Lama, Fox 35 News.